How's it going guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to talk about a new backtesting software that I've been using recently. As you can see in the top left hand corner, this is called FX Replay. If you haven't heard of it yet, it's probably because it's quite new. And you know, we've got stuff like the backtesting on TradingView itself, you know, the bar replay tool. And we've also got stuff like software effects, which personally, you know, I don't really enjoy. So the good thing with FX Replay is you can get live trading experience in backtesting because what it is, is it's a plug and play into TradingView. So you can use TradingView to do your backtesting. But what this will allow you to do now is it will allow you the candles to print in real time. So I just thought I'd do a video and show you this software because I've been, you know, using it myself and enjoying it. So what you can do, first of all, if you try this out, once you are on your homepage here, you can come to the top right hand corner, click on create a strategy and then you can name it. So I'll just name it, you know, like one, two, three, and then you can enter a description. So in here you could put something like, you know, your checklist or your trade plan if you want to do that. And then once you've done that, you can click on the save button. Once you click on the save button, you should see the one that you've just created on the right hand side here. And then what you can do then is come up and click on create a session. Once you click on create a session, you might want to put in something like, you know, like $100,000 so you can simulate trading a live funded account, for example. And then you can click and choose the your currency pair. So for me, I will just choose, you know, for example, GBP USD. And then what you can do then is click on here and then you can go back to whatever date you want and then choose the date that you want to backtest. So for me, I will just choose October the 1st to November the 1st. And then you can choose the time. So if I just put in, you know, like 7 a.m. Once you've chosen your time, what you can do then is just simply go back and then click on the strategy that you've just created. So make sure you're clicking the right strategy here because what that will do is it's going to log all of your trades in, in your analytics area. So click on the, you know, the one that you've just created and then click on save. When you've done that, what you can do then is you can click on this play button. So one annoying thing about FX Replay is once you open up a chart, you will get stuff like this. You will get your indicators like it is default because it doesn't actually, actually, if I come up here, click on the settings and click on this, as you will see, there's no option to save a template. So that's one of the annoying things about FX Replay, but you know, it's just a minor thing on the overall software because the overall experience and the overall backtesting experience is actually quite good. And that's one of the annoying things that I just want to show you guys. So overall, what you can do, um, as you can see down here, you have your open position. So if you're in a trade, you will see it down here. Once you've got a closed trade, you will see it in this area. And as you can see here, you can see your account balance. You can see your P&L and everything like that. Once you're obviously you've got this information, you can just, you know, sort of collapse it down here. Once you do that, you can then do your top down analysis. So you can come to the top left, click on, you know, maybe monthly, weekly, daily, four hour, down to 15 minutes, whatever. Once you've done your analysis, you can come on and what I can just show you is if we click on play, what you will notice is that the candles are actually printing in, you know, sort of real time here. So that's the, that's the good thing about FX replay. And once you have, you know, maybe you've drawn on your supply and demand zone. So you've got your, you've got your demand zones here, there and everywhere, you know, you maybe have one down here. And then what you can do is you can click forward and wait for price to come into your demand. And then once you have obviously got a trade setting up, you might want to drop down to a lower time frame. And then once you have done that, what you can do is click on your risk to reward tool. So for me, uh, let's just go short on this position. So you will click on your short position and then you would obviously enter in your stop loss and things like that. And then we will just, you know, sort of target somewhere down here. Once you have done that, you can click on place order which is right here. Once you've done that, as you can see, you can then choose your risk. So I will click on 1% and it will show you your estimated loss, estimated profit. And then what it will do is it will automatically put in all the information on here. And then as you can see, you can choose whether it's a buy or a sell. You can choose whether it's a limit or a market execution. So for this example, and just for the sake of the video, I will click on market execution, click on save. And then as you can see, this trade is now locked in. You can cancel the trade by clicking on these X's at the side. And if we go ahead and you can also, you can move your stop loss up and down if you want to do that. And you can also move your, your take profit. So what I'll do now is I will just click and play price forward. 
as you can see now we are in this trade what you can do then you can speed it up if you want to do that and it will just speed up price and you can click this if you want to make it go a little bit faster and let's just see how this trade plays out So as you can see, this trade turned out to be a loser. Obviously there was no real confluences for it, it was just for the sake of the video. So what you can do then, and once you are done with your backtesting session, you can click on this little button here, click on this, and then click to go back to your dashboard. Once you do that, you can obviously then come to these three dots and then click on analytics. And then what you will see is you will see all of your detailed analytics in this area right here. So you can see obviously, the days you traded you can see your best days are up here and um, you can come down you can see your average risk to reward and things like that and you can come down and see all of your information and all of your stats so that's one thing that's good about this go back to my dashboard now so overall that's just about it for today's video guys i just thought i'd showcase this software it's something that i've been using recently myself it's something that i've been enjoying you know if you're interested in this i think there's a five day free trial that you can use and then obviously you've got to pay monthly after that if you want to try it and then you know cancel it you can always do that but for me personally it's actually made back testing a little bit more enjoyable so yeah guys that's just about it if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comment section down below if i can help you out i will always do that if this video did provide any value and you did enjoy please leave a like on today's video and i will see you in the next one